Cool tones at the drugstore can be so difficult to find. So I collected all of my cool toned drugstore favorites to do a get ready with me in today's video. So I will be showing you all of my favorites and demoing how I use them and how they look on my skin to create this look. If you're new here, I make tons of videos on cool tones and makeup for fair skin. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you do that so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. But we'll be talking about base, eye, and lip products in today's video videos, the best cool tone options at the drugstore, and how I like to use them. So let's go ahead and just get started in the makeup. Today we're drinking pineapple kombucha. Let's go ahead and start with bronzers, which is a notoriously difficult category, at least for me, at the drugstore. These are my best neutral cool bronzer and contour finds that do not pull orange. Now, I do have a cool toned slash neutral bronzer guide in the works. I've been ordering a ton of new bronzers to try to find the best ones that don't pull orange. So if you're interested in that, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. You can also turn on the post notifications so you will get a little alert when I do post that video. It's gonna be really helpful, I hope. So excited for that. But these in the meantime, I think will hold you over. I do already have my base on, obviously. I wanna start with the contour product that I have. I really, really love this one. This is from e.l.f. Not only is this super affordable, it's such a perfect cool tone, especially for fair skin. So this is their Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is the contour shade in fair light. It does have a little sponge tip applicator, which not my favorite thing in the world. It's just the perfect tone. Like it's not too cool. It's more of that like neutral cool shade. And it also isn't extremely pigmented, which gives you a really nice mimic of a shadow. Sometimes when things are too pigmented, especially if you're as fair as me, it can just start to look really makeup-y, but this is such a beautiful option from the drugstore. So let's go ahead and apply this. I like to start this right on the cheekbones. Usually run it across the top of my forehead. I usually don't do the sides of my foreheads because I do have more of an oval face, so I don't want to close that sort of area off more. I do like to bring it down my nose, a little bit under the lip, and then I will also do the jawline. Because this is more of like a sheer medium pigmentation, I feel like it's just so easy to contour with. Like it's a very beginner-friendly, user-friendly product. And then taking a small Luxie brush, this is their small contouring brush, which I love. I'm gonna start blending this in, and as I blend it, you should be able to see that it just blends in really seamlessly, not too pigmented. I feel like in the makeup world, we don't talk about the importance of the pigmentation level of your products in this one for fair skin, or just if you're a beginner and you feel like your contour can look a little bit muddy, it's so good because it doesn't have that like chock full of pigment vibe that sometimes in like, you know, newer makeup launches is, that's kind of the thing liquid blushes and liquid products that are just so pigmented, but that one's a really great one. Next, this is a little bit of an interesting find. This is a bronzer. This is the Pixi On The Glow Bronzer. This is their tinted moisture stick. I'm pretty sure this is actually the darker shade. They have more of like a pink shade, but that one pulls very orange on me. This is the shade Beach Glow. If you've never seen these, they come in this really cool stick form. It looks like it's quite dark, which it is but because it can so easily be sheared out, I'm more paying attention to the tone of this. You can definitely see the difference between the contour. It has that warmth to it, but it almost has this like, it's not even like a red tone, maybe like a slightly red neutral tone to it. It's just a really great bronzer that doesn't pull to orange or red or like it just sits right in the middle. Because this is a little bit of a darker product, I like to apply it on my hand instead of going directly on my face. So I'm just gonna use that same brush that we use. And this does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, so it's gonna give us a little bit of glow. So now that it's on my brush, I just start to stipple it over the contour. You can use this under contour or above it kind of just your preference. I'm gonna do above today just to help blend everything in. Just look how nice that is. It definitely adds that bronzy glow to my face, but it doesn't pull too warm, which I just, I love. Next, I really wanted to mention a powder option as well. This is from Flower Beauty. This is their Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer, and this is the lighter shade, which is called Sunrise. In the pan, this actually looks very cool toned. When it's swatched, it's not, quite as cool toned as it may look, but it's still a really nice tone of bronzer. Definitely warmer compared to this. Like 
This is looking like it has a little bit more of that like red tone versus this one pulls a little bit more orange. This one I find looks really natural on me because you know if I get bronzy it's going to be like a little bit red as well. This just has that hint of it. This one is a little bit warmer but I still really like it because it's a little bit more sheer. You can build it up if you want to but I don't find that it leans too orange on me like a lot a lot a lot of bronzers too next let's talk about blushes i actually have a whole video where i tried every single blush at the drugstore i also have a whole separate video for my favorite cool tone blushes that i will go ahead and link at the end of this video so you can watch those ones next but if you haven't seen those these are a couple of my favorites First is the Revlon Tickled Pink Blush. This is more of a bright pink blush, but it's pretty sheer. It has that very strong, cool undercurrent. It's a very purpley pink. If you want something a little bit more subtle, this one's really good for fair skin. This is the Fit Me Blush in the shade Mauve, which is very shimmery. It's a nice cool tone shimmer, but it's this very pastel purple shade. Now I think I forgot to mention this in my previous blush video but the Flower Beauty blushes are really great as well especially this one which is the shade Sweet Tea. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So here's the Revlon shade. The middle one with the shimmer is the Fit Me shade and then this is the Flower Beauty Sweet Pea shade which is kind of like the perfect in between of both of those shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this one looks like on. If you're curious about creams, by the way, I also have an additional video about all my favorite cool tone cream blushes. So don't worry, I got you covered. It'll be linked below. But let's go ahead and start with the Flower Beauty blush. Oh, I also, it's one of my favorite blush brushes, also from Flower Beauty. I don't know if they still sell these, but it is such a gorgeous fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start layering this on. Such a gorgeous, completely matte shade, by the way. It really does feel like a high-end formula. I've been loving a lot of blush at the moment, if you can't tell, but this is a really pretty option. If you love a matte blush, especially in combination with those bronzers, it kind of all melts together in a nice way. Now for highlights, this is another really difficult category. I can really only think of two, and these ones aren't also like available at every drugstore, so I'll probably have to do some shopping and just buy a bunch and see what works, but I feel like a lot of them run very like champagne gold, and I like a cool tone highlight. So these are the two options that I could think of. Available at Ulta, maybe Target. So first is the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. This is the shade Supreme Rose Beam. This is a gorgeous light pink. It has quite a strong like metallic reflect to it. It's not the absolute lightest shade, like it's not like a white pink, but it still works on my very fair skin. Now this is quite metallic, so I like to go light-handed with it by using a fan brush. So I'm just gonna work my brush into there. And this will just be a really nice topper because we have that matte blush on. Like, isn't that pretty? Really great one for fair skin and cool tone lovers. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It's just one of those days where the sun is like out and then it's gone and then it's out and then it's gone again. But this, so pretty, loving it. My other option that I wanted to mention is from ColourPop. This is the Sailor Moon Collection. This is the Moonlight Pressed Powder Highlighter, which is also a pink, but this one has more of like a purpley blue very cool toned shift as you can see so gorgeous so here's the one on the bottom might be hard to see this one is a little bit lighter than the catrice one this also has a slightly smoother pearl in it so it's not quite as like metallic as this one this one isn't like glittery or chunky or anything though it's just more of like an intense highlight that's why i like to use a fan brush but these are my two options like i said i'll have to do some research and find more from the drugstore because we need more cool tones. Next, let's have a little chat about eyeshadow. It is really difficult to find like a truly full palette of cool tones at the drugstore. Elf has those little bite-sized palettes that I were that I was going to show in this video, but like I didn't have. They have a blue one that's cool toned, but I want to show you wearable neutral options, not just like really fun bright colors, but those are nice if you do want that. Now for eyeshadow, I would say if you're looking for a good cool tone eyeshadow palette that is near drugstore range, I would recommend just grabbing either one of these from ColourPop. If you like a smaller palette, the ColourPop That's Taupe is a gorgeous palette. This has a really nice blend of like neutral cool tones. So you get these stone colors, really nice like neutral transition shade though. You get more of this mauve shade very light cool tone you get a cool tone brown and then these really pretty cool tone shimmers 
Just such a great little palette. If you want something to cover all your bases though, the Stone Cold Fox palette is so good. Mine is kind of a mess. But this is just gonna have everything you need if you want and like cool tone shadows. Like you get whites, you get the pink tones, you get the brown tones, you get the gray tones. Like there's just so much in this palette that any cool tone you would need is pretty much in here. They're really great formulas. I love ColourPop shadows. The metallics are nice and smooth. You get like a couple more glittery shades in here, but they're all just, you know, if you need cool tones at a more affordable price. I also wanted to give a mention to the Flower Beauty eyeshadows, not this colorway in specific because this is the warm tone one called Desert Lights, but they just recently released two new colorways of this. The pictures on Ulta don't look that great, but these shadow formulas, I feel like you can really see the texture on camera. They're so smooth, they have so much impact. They're gorgeous, I can't recommend these enough. Like they feel like really high-end shadows, sort of like the Make Beauty shadows, just all six of them in a palette. I love these nice big pans, definitely prefer them with my fingers. But yeah, check out the new versions of these in the cool tones if you want a really nice metallic palette. But for my look today, I think we will dive into the Stone Cold Fox palette. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'm gonna start with this, um, actually, what kind of look should I do? I'm kind of feeling just like these really pretty neutral shades here, like this row of like the stone grays. So starting with this shade here, which is a muted stone color. It's called You Rock, which is pretty cute. I'm just taking my big fluffy brush to blend this in. Now I don't reach for this palette a ton anymore because I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude, the new makeup by Mario Cool Tones, and also the Natasha Denona Xenon palette, which covers like everything I need. But in terms of like, if you don't really have those options available to you, these ones are a really great replacement and they give you everything you need, you know? I'm actually gonna go into this slightly more like neutrally shade that's also quite light. It has a more purple tone to it and I'm gonna layer that on top of this more gray shade. Just wanna add like a little bit of life to it by adding a slightly purpley pink shade. So going in with this very light shade, again, just to add a little bit more definition and life. Whenever I do a gray shade, like I love cool tones, but I think adding in a slightly more like neutral shade can really just help everything sort of blend into your skin more seamlessly. I'm also just running that combination of shades under my lower lash line. Next, let's dip into this shade here, which is called Bold Type. I take a smaller brush, start defining the outer corner. ColourPop makes such great eyeshadows for the price. As long as you get like, I feel like some of their palettes are a little bit of a flop, but as long as you get like a good big palette from them, chances are you're gonna have a ton of good shadows to use. So just deepening that up, I think I wanna add a little bit of like this more pink shade over here. This one's called Stone Age. I'm gonna start feathering that in as well. There are so many gorgeous shades in terms of metallics in this palette, it's really hard to choose. I have not added this silver shade here, but I also really love, I think it's actually a super shock shade in the smaller that's taupe palette this one right here which is more of like a neutral cool toned and it's just stunning hmm should i do that one Maybe a little bit more glittery Ooh, that's the gray shade hmm also this really pretty more like mauvey purple kind of feeling both of those let's take that mauvey purple this one's called mystery i'm gonna start this on the outer corner and then let's take that silver shade and fill in the rest of the lid. Ooh, so pretty. I love this palette. Another thing I really enjoy about this palette is you also get these tones at the top that are actually light enough for fair skin. So I'm gonna take the shade Dreamful, which is actually basically a pure white. It has a little bit of like a thicker shimmer throughout it, but it almost flicks away when you apply it. So I'm just popping that on the brow bone and right on the inner corner. I'm gonna blend that into the silver shade. Next, I also wanna add some liner to this look. And you can tell I use this one a ton and I tried to clean it. It's a matte, deep, like eggplant purple. I'm gonna take that on a liner brush. The shade name is Obsidian. And just doing my usual shadow liner, I like to stamp it on and then drag it out. I'm gonna get a little bit of fallout here, but we'll clean that up after. I also like to go in with an additional shade to sort of deepen and smoke out the purple. So I'm gonna go in with this shade called Cult Classic, 
just sort of like a gray brown and i take this on a little smudgy liner brush and then i just blend it out and into the eyeliner applying that to my lower lash line as well and i've been sort of dragging out a little bit of a shadow shade sort of like a little Marilyn eyeshadow look i just feel like it adds a little bit of interest especially for my eye shape but i don't have to put a ton of like pigment or color down there it's just a really interesting shape and then sort of in between those two shades i'm gonna go back in with a matte white and then i like to highlight in between those and i just feel like it's really cool especially when you have mascara on okay i actually have quite a lot of fallout i feel like that's where i mainly notice the difference between ColourPop shadows and high-end shadows usually is that they're a little bit more powdery they are still very creamy you're gonna get a little bit more fallout but because it's powdery it brushes away really easily so that's just like a small thing that's really only with like the eyeliner when i'm flicking the shades a little bit compared to like you know the natasha palettes or the makeup by mario that has a little bit more of like creaminess in there so it's gonna stick a little bit more but that also means the fallout sticks more so you know this is a really fun look i am loving it do you some eyelash curling yes this is the refer one and then for mascara i guess this is kind of a cool tone this is the maybelline sky high mascara in brown i find this is a pretty like neutral cool brown it's not super warm also if you're looking for a good cool tone brown liquid liner the nyx epic ink liner it's a nice brown it's not like a red brown it really goes well with this mascara as well in terms of pencil liners I love NYX for any eyeliner, like you can't go wrong with their formulas, especially of the Epic Wear liner sticks. These will not move off of your waterline, they're so long lasting, they have so many colors. These are just like a purple and pink one that I have. This lavender one is Periwinkle Pop, and then we have Dusty Mauve, which is actually a matte one. And then this is one of their faux whites in baby powder, which is a light blue, so it's just like a brightening liner. So here's that shimmery purple. We have that like mid-tone mauve, which is actually really pretty, just as like a liner. And then that faux white, just baby blue shade. I'm gonna take the sparkly purple on the waterline. I would usually do this before mascara, but I forgot. But that's pop it on. This is subtle because it's so pastel but it's so pretty and it just adds that like little twinkle to your eyes. I also like to draw a little bit on the inner corners if you want more impact even on the top lash line. Gorgeous. Hubba Bubba, another kind of hard category at the drugstore. Cool tone lip products. I have a whole guide on my favorite cool tone lip products from all ranges if you also want to see that. I don't mean to keep mentioning all my other videos but like I have full guides if you want to go really in depth with these things but these are just like my couple picks just from the drugstore so if i was looking for a cool tone lip liner i would pick one of these three colourpop cool bff love use this every day nyx line loud this one's a little bit more pink this is the shade fierce flirt really long lasting or nyx nude beige which is more of like a neutrally cool toned not quite as cool 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 as some of the others but still perfect like nude neutral i don't know why i swatch these on literally the side of my wrist but this is the nyx nude beige middle is the nyx fierce flirt and then over here is the ColourPop cool bff which is nice and creamy i think i'm gonna use the nyx fierce flirt i've described these liners before as like liquid lipstick in a liner form and it's pretty much true like it really sticks to your lips and does not move i wonder why i'm doing this i like to blend out my lip liner i just feel like it looks a lot better on my lip shape especially if i'm slightly overlining. i usually don't do it that much on the bottom though kind of just like the cupid bow area i like to be nice and soft i don't really like having that sharp cupid's bow shape you could just wear this as lip color with a lip gloss on it's so pretty and just such a flattering pink but of course i have lipstick and lip gloss options to show you lipstick cool tones at the drugstore it's kind of just like a lottery right because you usually can't use testers and you're just like Seems cool tone, I don't know. But these two, not true drugstore brands, so I will have to try it some more, but available at some drugstores. Flower Beauty Lipstick. This is like one of their creamy shades in Blush Rose, which is the most gorgeous, creamy, like mauve purpley pink. Really moisturizing, really reminds me of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks as well. I also like this slightly brighter pink from ColourPop, which is called Still Crazy. This is like so pigmented, really true, just like pink, but it's cool toned. I think I actually wanna use this one today. 
And I'm just gonna start by dabbing this on. I don't really want like the full pigment of it. I just wanna blend it out. This lip liner is a little bit more purple than the lipstick. So I feel like in combination, it looks really pretty because this acts almost like a lip contour. This combo for spring, such a pretty spring pink, loving it. Yeah, I feel like glosses are a little bit easier than lipsticks because at least you can really see the shades through the tubes most of the time. So I have two shades here from NYX. These are the This Is Milky Gloss. You want a non-sticky gloss that still has pigment. These are really nice options. So I have the Milk, what's this called? Milk It Pink, which is just a really pretty sheer baby pink. Still has a little bit of that tint to it. And then this one is Cherry Skimmed, which is more of a mauve purple. Like, isn't that so pretty? Really gorgeous. The shade from Pixie is also a gorgeous rosy purple called Sheer Rose. These are slightly more sticky, not like as purely creamy as the NYX ones. And this has more of like a minty scent. I don't love the scent of the NYX ones, but it's tolerable for me. And this one is slightly more sheer and you can tell it has slightly more red tones in it as well. Which one to wear? I feel like I wanna use this Pixie one. Should just tie in both of those colors for the perfect cool tone drugstore lip combo. Do you consider Pixie Drugstore? I know they're like on the higher end of drugstore, but they're always in the drugstore makeup sections. Let me know below. Set so everything. I really like the Pixie Vitamin Makeup Mist. I know they have a ton of different versions of this, but this one's a good one. It's a nice citrusy scent. Their makeup mist, I don't love the scent of that one. Finish look is complete. If you have any cool tone favorites from the drugstore, definitely comment them below. That way we can all like learn from each other's favorites and just have the best cool tone makeup. But I hope you found this helpful. I know it can be so difficult to find cool tones at the drugstore. I'm gonna be just trying everything I can for my rest of my life to find you the best cool tones. So I really hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. All those videos that I mentioned, the ultimate guides, cool tone blushes, everything will be linked below. Also pop another cool tone video here so we can keep hanging out, but I will see you in this one. Bye.